computer science, it's not for girls. But did you know that the first ever computer programmer in history was actually a woman? Ada Lovelace. Every year on the second Tuesday of October is Ada Lovelace Day, a day in recognition of a remarkable lady and a chance to inspire many more women in technology. This is her story, so let's begin. Mad, bad, and dangerous to know. That's the infamous line that came to be associated with Lord Byron. He was the enigmatic and controversial poet. You see, Lord Byron was known for his scandalous affairs, including an incestuous relationship with his half-sister, Augustus Lee, and also his alleged involvement in Satanism. The renowned poet fathered a daughter, Augustus Ada King, in 1815. He named her after the half-sister he allegedly had an affair with. Perhaps this is the reason that she goes by the name of Ada. But just a month after her birth, he left for Greece to join the Greek War of Independence and fight the Ottoman Empire. Now, back in those days, men would get full custody of children in a marital separation. But Lord Byron made no claim on his parental rights. He never did come back from Greece and he passed away when Ada was just eight years old. Ada's mother, Lady Byron, was worried that Ada would come to develop her father's perceived insanity. So she pushed on her all of her own interests in science and mathematics and discouraged any literary studies or arts. But despite these efforts, Ada had this wild imagination. At the age of 12, she decided that she wanted to fly. So she wrote a book, Flyology, that detailed the materials she had investigated for constructing wings. She also went deep into the anatomy of different birds to figure out sizes and proportions, and even went as far as mapping out flight routes. Later in her adult life, she would integrate poetry into her science and maths writings, which would include varieties of mentions of sprites and fairies. Throughout her childhood, Ada was plagued with illnesses, catching the measles when she was just 14 years old and becoming completely paralyzed. It wasn't until two years later that she was actually able to walk again, but with the aid of crutches. And despite all of this, Ada persevered with her studies in science and mathematics. At 17, Ada was introduced to Charles Babbage by her tutor. He was this brilliant mathematician and an inventor working on a revolutionary machine, the difference machine. Now, this machine was designed to be an automatic mechanical calculator that could tabulate polynomial functions. These are mathematical expressions that involve variables raised to powers, like x squared plus 2x plus 1. The name difference engine came from its use of a mathematical technique called the method of finite differences. This method allows you to calculate a series of values by repeatedly adding differences between numbers rather than doing more complex calculations like multiplication. So mechanically, it was much easier to achieve. The machine itself was entirely mechanical, made up of intricate arrangements of gears, levers, and other moving parts. And then numbers were represented by the positions of toothed wheels. Now, this wasn't a computer, but it was a crucial step in the history of computing. It introduced the idea of a machine that could automatically perform complex calculations according to a set of instructions. Ada was captivated by it. She saw Babbage's machine not just as a tool for crunching numbers, but as a device with the potential to create and compose and even explore the very fabric of reality. Babbage became her mentor and he introduced her to the idea of the analytical machine, an even more advanced machine that could be programmed with punch cards to perform more complex calculations. The analytical machine was considered as the true precursor to the modern computer, and Ada, with her sharp mind and mathematical talent, quickly grasped the engine's potential. In 1843, she translated a French article about the analytical engine and then added her own notes. These notes were three times longer than the original article and contained what is now considered the first ever computer program, a set of instructions 
for the analytical engine to calculate a sequence of Bernoulli numbers. Now Bernoulli numbers may seem like a sequence of random numbers, but they have hidden connections to many areas of maths and even physics. For example, they can help us solve maths problems like calculating the sums of powers of integers with Faulhaber's formula. But Ada went further than this. Beyond Babbage's numerical ambitions, Ada saw what Babbage failed to see. She envisioned the machine manipulating symbols to create music, to create language, and even art. She saw the potential for computers to become more than just calculators, but tools for creativity and exploration. She was way ahead of her time because that's very much like the computers that we use today. Now, there are many ways to calculate Bernoulli's numbers, but in her notes, Ada deliberately chose a very elaborate way to do so, so that she could demonstrate the power of the engine. In her code, she uses the previous values in an equation to generate the next one. So if the Bernoulli equation is given by where Bn is the Bernoulli number you're trying to calculate, the nth one in the sequence, the summation is adding the series of terms for each value of k from 0 to n minus 1. The term in the bracket is the binomial coefficient, read as n plus 1 choose k. It represents the number of ways to choose k items from a set of n plus 1 items. And there's a formula to calculate this too. And then bk is the previously calculated Bernoulli numbers. So beginning with known values of b0 equals 1 and b1 equals minus half, to calculate the next number, to find b2, you'd just plug in n equals 2 into the equation. The summation will then involve all of the previous values, so k equals 0, k equals 1, and this would give you and then you just need to repeat this over and over to find the next one and then the next one and the next one in the sequence. This is what she wrote. Now, there is some controversy over whether or not she was in fact the first computer programmer because Babbage is said to have written several unpublished algorithms for the analytical engine prior to Ada's notes. But the debate over Ada Lovelace's status as the first computer programmer is a very complex and nuanced one because some historians believe that Babbage's algorithms were too rudimentary to be even considered as programs. Ada's were much more clean and sophisticated. But then also, Babbage's analytical engine was purely conceptual. He never was able to complete a construction of his machine due to conflicts with his chief engineer and inadequate funding. And it wasn't until more than a century later that the first general purpose computer was actually built. Regardless of all of this, Ada's published code contained a bug. By the way, did you know that the first time this was termed was also by a female computer scientist, Grace Hopper, in 1947. She found a moth trapped in her computer causing a malfunction. But back to Ada's bug, in the fourth step of her algorithm, she instructs the machine to divide v5 by v4. But the correct operation should have been to divide v4 by v5. And now this small typo would have meant that even if she did run the code, even if the machine was built, she would have gotten the wrong answer. So even the brightest minds will make mistakes, including me. Most of my day job is looking for bugs in my code. It's super frustrating. Despite her groundbreaking contributions, Ada's work remained largely unrecognized during her lifetime. She was plagued by illnesses and she died at a very young age of 36, the same age as her father, Lord Byron, when he died. Her work was largely forgotten for over a century. Her contributions to computing were overshadowed by the men who followed it. And it wasn't until the 20th century with the advent of electronical computers that her true significance was acknowledged. Today, regardless of who is ultimately considered to be the first computer programmer, Lovelace is celebrated as a pioneer in computer science and her legacy continues to inspire generations of young women to pursue careers in STEM. That's all for this week's video. Thank you to my YouTube Perks members for supporting this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share, and subscribe. Hey, space cats, fly with me to the stars. Faster than light, soaring past Mars.